hey guys um, it's paradox here so for today's video i just want to share with you how to surely win the boss battle uh douglas bullet boss battle uh and and to make sure you to you you manage to actually gain more score each time you play so basically if you click on the rules up here and you, if you go to appearance schedule, you will see that the element for Douglas will be different according to time. Uh, so you need to make sure to look at this element carefully in order for you to select your team members. So for now, uh, Douglas um, element is red and to have more damage against him, obviously you need to use blue element heroes. Alright, and if you look at my party, I use uh, Nightmare Luffy as my main battle character and obviously Shanks as my secondary battle character. The reason why I use Nightmare Luffy is because um, his, I think if you're not mistaken, his uh, uh, movement, yeah, his skill 2, Gum Gum Storm is actually... Uh, uh, I mean, they, uh, it, it have knockback effect and knockback effect is very, very important for you to have in order for you to secure the treasure area, right? So after this, I'll show you why it is helpful. But before that, let me just explain that in order for you to have more score bonus, you need to put in stampede characters in your support character party. Well, the way to look at it easily is just go to filter and then pick score bonus. Alright, and then you'll see that top three is Tenpit, Smoker, Luffy, and Sabo. So for Luffy and <clears throat> Smoker, I'll have them at 100, level 100. Whereas for Sabo, I only have them at level 80. And that makes my score bonus is 70%. Now, without further ado, let's go and have a match with the boss. So, when going against uh, Bullet, right, most people will go, will use either Shanks or Blackbeard. Uh, for me, well, you know, it, it's good for me to, it's good for you to use Shanks because you, you, you will usually become the MVP if you use him. But to me, it's all about the team members. And like, even now, if you look at my team members, we have, wow, we have another two Nightmare Luffy, which is great. Um, and all my team members are actually blue element and we should be able to win this pretty easily so the very first thing that I always do is actually go for skill 2 and have him knock out and after that it's very important for you to have your team member gather up so that you can actually uh, uh, further KO him but apparently my team member is further away so I'll just stand here in front of this like explosive and wait for him when he's nearby and boom that's it so you see if you time it right uh, uh, bullet will actually i know what you call this like faint you know and then you can hit him more with more damage so at this stage you need to be very careful look at the red line you need to stay away all right make sure you are in the middle between the two lines in order for you to stay safe all right and the way, I, the way I play this is that I will use my SP2 as much as possible. The one that can regenerate fast, which is currently my SP2. Uh, because that's how you'll get more damage. So you see now that he's knocked out. And boom. Alright, continue hitting him. Continue hitting him. Well, alright. Now, same goes, run away. And look at the lines and make sure you are in the middle of both lines. Right. And further attack him. It's good that someone from my team actually always goes to the middle and secure the treasure area. Well, that is good because in, in, in order for us to defeat Bullet faster, we need to secure the treasure area. I think currently there is a bug here where <laughs> the boss repeatedly like... I don't know, being hit with, with, 
being hit but but that's good because it actually enhances the combo and increases the damage by 300% and voila we defeat bullet we defeated bullet easily so obviously i'm not the mvp but that's that's okay all right let's look at the score difference well i'm the last one but never mind that like i mentioned to you the most important thing is for you to actually be the team member that helps defeat bullet like most uh, member will usually save their skill attack in order to use it only when bullet fainted because they want more damage obviously but for me it's more important to get bullet to faint as soon as possible and that is my goal so it's okay for you to be the last one but what is important is your total score well currently i get 3944 and that is mostly average that uh, that you'll get if you win the match against bullet if you become the mvp you'll get the mvp base score and that will actually brings up your total score to 4000 over but again as i mentioned to you what is important is to help the whole team win the match against bullet and make sure that everybody gets the score evenly right so that's all the sharing from me i hope it benefits you guys and especially to new to the beginners i hope you can win the battle um, as much as possible good luck and enjoy trying take care and have fun all right Bye, guys.